Hello, everybody. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video. Uh, I saw that Zero Shoes is doing their 70% off sale, and I wanted to just go over four of my favorite shoes. This video pertains no matter if they're doing a sale or not. Um, so I'm going to start off just in the order that they're on the ground here. The HFS, I did a review on this. Hopefully it'll be live by the time this goes up. This is a very versatile, extremely flexible shoe. Um, so any of you runners, ultra runners, um, people who just want a thin shoe for maybe the gym, or if you just want to walk around the city or something like that, this is a perfect shoe for you. Um, as far as cycling goes, I've tried it, didn't like it. And uh, real heavy trails uh, with a real, real heavy crushed stone, I wouldn't go with that. Next, my all-time favorite zero shoe is the Prio. This is by far, yeah, I've had this for almost a year, and you can see, I think I've worn it once. It, this color color's too pretty. I own two other colors of this exact same shoe. I let those be workhorses, and I just bring this one out on, uh, on special occasions. This is the number one shoe. I probably should have shown this one first. This is a shoe that I would start off with, whatever color you like. This shoe has got a really big toe box, really wide toe box. It's got really cushioned, uh, you know, around the ankle and even into the shoe. And the tongue itself is nice and uh, cushioned too. But the sole is only five and a half mil thick. And you can, uh, as same with all of these, you can take out the insole. And then the insole adds about two mils. So you're going to remove about two mil uh, in stack height. Next, this shoe, my cat likes, so sorry about the fur on it. <clears throat> this shoe is called the Colorado. Man, I wore this all winter last year. I didn't, uh, he ran out, or the, the company ran out of the, the winter boots, so I just wore this instead. Nice wide toe box, um, extremely nice stack height on the toe and it's got a lining of fleece and the insole actually has some foil in it to keep the heat in so these shoes if it, coming in the winter time coming in the late uh, autumn winter time these shoes are perfect for that now if there's a ton of snow on the ground i actually have tracks and i put that actually on a different style boot that they don't make anymore so i'm not even going to bother reviewing it and then this shoe is perfect. Not this shoe. This boot is perfect for this time of year. Now you can see that I've worn them. I'm not even going to bother cleaning them for the review. These things are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really like these things. You can take them in water, you know, up to obviously wherever it's gasketed. You can take them on heavy, heavy, heavy trails. I mean heavy trails. If you're going to be hiking the Appalachian Mountain, if you're going to be on extremely rough terrain, the lugs on these things are absolutely amazing. They grip to just about anything that I can find. I even have my left ankle. I can't articulate it very well because it's fixed and I've got a, a, a implant in them. And this really has helped me grip on some of the trails that I can't really grip on because I cannot move my ankle in a manner that I really should be able to move it. This is, I mean, you can even see it's written waterproof. This shoe not is not a well insulated shoe. So if you're going to, I don't actually have the winter winds. I don't know that I'm even gonna buy them. I'm, I would say 90% odds, I'm probably not gonna bother getting them. It's just, I don't really go out in that time type of year. And if you do, one of the best things that you can do, if you're out in really cold weather and you already have a waterproof pair of boots, just put your toes in foil or just um, get some bags, the small bags of chips. Dump the chips out because you shouldn't be eating that stuff. Just throw it away or give it to a dog or something like that. And then just take the foil and put it around your toes. You'll be good to go. It, you know, I, I re unless you're going to be out in the, like some Appalachian or if you're going to be skiing, which is not my thing. Or if you're going to be out in like crazy snow. Um, then maybe it's worth it. I'm probably just going to stick away. From, I, I know I live in Cleveland. We get a lot of snow, but these and the other ones that are discontinued um, made it made me through last last year quite well. So, 
Actually, I don't even think these existed. I think I only use those in the Colorados because the Colorado has that nice foil lining and actually is very noticeably. I actually wore these in negative zero degree weather and I was fine. So that's my take on these four. This is the four I would start off with. I don't know which one of these are on sale. I'll leave a link below so you can go check it out. But this is the four I would start off with. Now, if you're not an outdoor person and you're just getting into the barefoot, this is it. Subscribe. Talk to you next time.